Hello to all, myself Dr. Dicha Mahajan and in this video you will be instructed about the Frankel's exercises. I will cover the introduction, technique, progression and examples of the Frankel's exercises in different positions along with the exercises to promote the movement and rhythm. Frankel's exercises are the set of systematic and graduated exercises which are designed to increase the coordination and these were developed by Dr. H. S. Frankel. It is a method of control that aims to establish a voluntary control of movement using a sensory mechanism that is intact in the body, mainly the sight, sound and the touch, so as to compensate for the loss of the kinesthetic sensation so that the patient is able and he feels confident to carry out his activities of the daily living. This technique is based on the following principles. Concentration of attention. That means the patient must give his full attention to the performance of the exercise so as to make the movement smooth and accurate. Next is precision. That means he should perform the same exercise as instructed. And the last principle is the repetition, which says that the exercises must be repeated many times until it is perfect and easy to perform. To perform the Frankel's exercises, the first and the foremost thing is the positioning of the patient. The patient must be positioned in a comfortable manner and the clothing should be suitable so that he can see his limbs throughout the exercise. Then a concise explanation and demonstration of the exercises must be given before the movement is attempted so as to give the patient a clear mental picture of it. The patient must give his full attention to the performance of the exercises so as to make the movements smooth and accurate. Then the speed of the movement it is dictated by a physiotherapist by the means of a rhythmic counting or by the movement of her hand or by the use of the suitable music. For example, if the patient has to perform the movement very slowly, so we can play a slow music and if the individual has to perform the fast movements, we can play the fast music. So next is the range of movement, that means the degree to which the movement has to be performed. So this range is indicated by marking the spot on which the patient may put his hand or foot. So once the patient is aware of how to perform the exercises and the speed with which he has to perform the exercise and the range of movement within which he has to perform the exercise. So now we will tell the patient about the repetitions that means how many times the exercise has to be performed. So the exercises must be repeated many times until it is perfect and easy. Later on these exercises can be discarded and a more difficult exercises could be substituted. So as these exercises are very tiring at first, so frequent rest periods must be allowed. And if there is any deterioration in the quality of the movement or if there is rise in the pulse rate, then it indicates fatigue. So in that case, either the rest period shall be increased or the repetitions shall be decreased. So once the patient is familiar with the basic exercises, he or she must progress to the next set of the exercises. So this progression in the initial stages can be made by alteration in the speed. That means he can start all these exercises initially with a low speed and later on he can progress to the high speed. Or the alteration can be done in the range. That means initially the individual can perform the exercises in the small range of the motion and later on they can progress to the full range of the motion or else the alteration can be done in the complexity of the exercises that means by increasing the level of the difficulty of that particular exercise and later the alteration in the speed of the consecutive movements can be introduced or else the interruptions that involves stopping and starting to the command these could be introduced. So finally the simple movements these can be built up into the sequence to perform the specific actions that requires the use and the control of a number of joints and more than one limb. For example, initially we can ask the individual to stand and later on we can ask the individual to move, that means to walk. According to the degree of disability, 
the re-education exercises can be started in the lying position with the head propped up that means with the head in a raised position and with the limbs fully supported and then the progression can be made to the exercises in sitting and then into the standing position so now let's have a look at the video of how to perform the frankel's exercises in different positions starting from the lying position progressing to sitting then standing and finally the walking position
फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो